Miss Prime, <laughs> welcome to me doing a reaction thing to Angel Beats. Today's episode 10. And I'm hoping that today's episode is the beginnings of the finality of the show. Unfortunately, with the show just only being 13 episodes long, not many of characters can get developed. So here's hoping that some other characters that we haven't got any characterization for start to beginning to get some. And as well as the team up between uh, Otonashi and Kanade as far as helping the kids or these souls, these lost souls, uh, move on. With that, for the new, let's uh, do the episode. Alright, here we go. Oh. Oh, I thought they were not really going to talk and stuff. He wants to start with the singer. Wait, what? Uh? Yeah. Ah, I gotcha. Right, right. Wow. He's starting to come up like the architect here. And why is she so obedient to him? Wow. That's some plan. <laughs> Wow. Destroyed her. Um, something happened to the video. Uh oh. Wait. Um. I'm sure. I. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep it rolling. We do. We do a life. We do a life. I don't know what the hell just happened. Oh, he caught it. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible to. Poor girl has a lot of dreams. She was paraplegic, you know, why not? She's gonna have a lot of aspirations and now she can do some of them. She wants to do suplex city. About the Brock Lesnar your ass. Oh my God, you're gonna die. There goes your neck. Yeah. Why would he say she was almost close? Why would he? Oh, 
<laughs> this is the last time for real. <laughs> She's cute. to know she just hit him? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Angel must have shot it. <laughs> oh, maybe he not us onto him. Maybe he he knows. Dude, they spent like a whole day. She has like no power in her swing. What's wrong with her? Are you okay? Let me see your hand. No. Let me see him. Not surprising. Don't give up. Thanks for everything. Why are you doing all the pretty things? Well, don't you want to pull this off? Keep at it till the end. Me getting a home run is like a joke. You can't just what? So this is a bunch of fun. So did everything come true? Did what come true? Well, doing what you wanted when you were paralyzed. There's one thing left. What's that? Marriage. She wants to get married. Set that. Hinata? I'll marry you. I'm serious. I mean you anyway. Uh, you would? I mean, you don't know the real me, do you? No matter what you would like or what you've done in your previous life, I still marry you today. No matter what type of terrible physical handicap you have. You know, I could walk. I 
I wonder if he's speaking truths or even though it's a one in six billion chance you'd meet, even if you were already paralyzed by the bed, I'd marry you and I'd make you the happiest woman alive. If only you'd say yes to me. You've never seen me. I've never been home, you know. I'd be I'd be playing my baseball. One day I send a baseball flying right through your window. When I go to retreat it, you'd be there. That's what we need. We start talking and have so much fun I start busy with every day. Start taking care of it. How's that sound? No way. They met before? I'm so confused. Is this, is this hypotheticals or is this? Act what, are we, what, are, what are we seeing here? Is she like dreaming of what she could have had? So they're working together. Wow, talk about like, you know, take one off the checklist. Uh, poor little Yui, uh, Yui, Yui? <laughs> Another singer is gone, goodbye, see you later. You have been fulfilled, supposedly. Very touching and extremely moving episode. Um, it, it almost, it makes me think of, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, I'll say a little bit of my life. I, I used to talk to, to someone that was paraplegic and um, in a, a very romantic way and, and exactly how Hinata said that uh, it, it don't really matter, you know, um, the circumstances and, and I, I hate to say the word disability. You know, because it, it sounds wrong. It makes me feel filthy saying it. But there was definitely a, a beautiful romance um, that blossomed between me and, and, and this uh, beautiful girl. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for me in the end. But um, it was, it's, it's ooh, I can relate to it. Someday I'll, I'll write like a novel or something, you know. I'll describe my terrible heartbreaks. Anyway, as far as the show goes, that was extremely romantic and beautiful and charming and, and extremely sad uh, for a person uh, with the circumstances of Yui and then kind of having the ability later on in this limbo world, of course you would take advantage of like, yo, I can do everything I've always wanted. Why would I ever want to find peace? Um, but like, yo, this show, I don't know, this show is extremely smart in his writing because in one glance, I'm like, yeah, the kids definitely deserve to be, you know, moving on to the next life or whatever. That They need to become the water flea or whatever, right? They, they need to pass over. But then when you watch this episode today, there's a little bit of, uh, like, uh, <laughs> an arrogance there of Otonoshi kind of forcing this on... Yui, she didn't ask for any of this shit. You know, she was just upon her day, you know? Poor little kiddo who just wanted to play the guitar and be part of a band and do all these things. And then freaking here comes Otonoshi like, nah, bitch, you're going to the next step of your afterlife right now. Yes. I don't know. It's weird. It almost makes me feel like Otonoshi is the Reaper, you know? And it's almost like his angel, you know, Kanade's his angel, you know, his arbiter. Uh, it's almost like all of this is part of the system. All of this is legit. Like, how you would call it? Like, 
all of this is fate. Like all of this was supposed to happen. Otanoshi is supposed to be there so he can help these kids ascend to the next step. Wow, this show is just it's dark. It shows dark. <laughs> all right, that about does it for my video. As always, you can support me by liking, subscribing, commenting, checking out the Patreon, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.